Welcome boys and girls to another episode of PA Phonics and Fun. I'm your host, Miss Sarah, and this is your teacher, Miss Anne Marie. In preparation for our lesson today, you'll need a few things, a pencil, a piece of paper, and some small letters. Have fun. Okay, so today we are going to begin our lesson with a rhyming game. What we're going to do is I'm going to say two words. If they rhyme, you're going to stand up. And if they do not rhyme, you're going to sit down. Okay, are you ready? And remember, rhyming words sound the same at the end. Okay, so our first words are bit, sit. Yes, I saw everybody stand up. Great job. They rhyme. Bit and sit rhyme. Fit. Mitt, fit, mitt. That's right, they rhyme, so everyone stayed standing. Hid, hit, hid, hit. Hid and hit do not rhyme, so everyone sat down because hid ends with the d sound and hit ends with the t sound. Great job. Our last words are lift, swift. Good, everybody stood back up. You guys did really good with rhyming words. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit harder. This time I'm going to say three words and you're going to tell me the word that does not rhyme. Are you ready? Great. Rid, hid, bet. Rid, hid, bet. Yes, the last word does not rhyme. Bet ends with a t, and rid and hid ended in a d sound. Good. Our next words are whiff, miff, mitt. Whiff, miff, mitt. Correct. Mitt does not rhyme with whiff or miff. And our last words are red, hit, bit. Red, hit, bit. Correct. Red does not rhyme with hit or bit because red ends with the ed sound and hit and bit ended with the it sound. You guys were really good at rhyming words. Would you like to learn a new sound today? Great. Well, we're going to learn the digraph TH. And a digraph are two letters that come together to make one sound. And this is our digraph TH. So the first sound we're going to learn with our digraph TH is an unvoiced sound. And what you do when you make the digraph TH sound is you put your lips, your tongue between your teeth, and you blow air across your tongue without vibrating your tongue. Watch my mouth as I make the sound. Did you see my tongue between my teeth? So now I want you to practice the unvoiced sound for digraph TH. Make the sound with me. Good job. Our focus word for digraph TH is thumb, thumb. And we have our digraph TH at the beginning of the word thumb. Digraph TH also makes an, a voiced sound. And so for the voiced sound, you're going to do the same thing with your mouth. Your tongue is going to go between your teeth, but this time when you blow air across your tongue, you're gonna vibrate your tongue. 
and you can feel the vibration on your throat when you make a voiced sound if you place your hand on your throat. So watch my mouth as I make the voiced diagraph TH sound. Mm. Mm. So I want you to try it with me. Put your hand on your throat. You'll do the same thing with your mouth. Your tongue will be between your teeth and when you blow air you will vibrate your tongue. Let's make the digraph TH voice sound. Mm. Mm. Did you feel your voice vibrating? Very good. So this is our focus word for diagraph TH. It's feather. Feather. If you put your hand on your throat, when you say feather, you will feel your throat vibrate. So thumb is our unvoiced digraph TH sound. And feather is our voiced digraph TH sound. So now let's find some words that have digraph TH in them. I'm going to find a few first, then we'll do some together, and then I'll let you see if you can find some. Are you ready? Let's start with this word, sound it out. Thin. Thin. And I see a digraph TH at the very beginning of the word thin. Think. Think. Do you see that digraph TH word sound at the beginning? Let's try this word. Fish. Fish. No, there is not a digraph TH in fish. There is a digraph SH but we're looking for digraph TH. Do these with me. Let's sound the words out. B, b, r, o, t, broth. Do you see digraph TH? Yes, very good. It's at the end of the word. Let's try this one. Sh, ip, ship. That's right. There's no digraph TH in ship. B, F, Beth. Very good. Digraph TH is at the end of the word. Do you notice something about the first letter in the word Beth? Yes, it is capitalized. And the reason that we capitalize the word Beth is because it's someone's name or it's a proper noun. And anytime you're writing a proper noun or someone's name, you start that word or their name with a capital letter. So Beth is a name and so we capitalized our letter B. Let's go to the next word. K -l -off cloth. Very good. It's at the end of the word. K -a -sh cash. Do you see a TH in cash? No, I don't see it either. Let's try this one. W -i -th with. Very good. It's at the end of the word. W -i -sh wish. That's right. There's no digraph TH in wish. Do this one for me. Then. Th Yes, it's at the beginning. Did you notice what happened when we read the word then? Put your hand on your throat as you say the word then. Did you feel the vibration? Yes, so the digraph TH in the word then is voiced then because you can feel your voice vibrate when you say the word then. Let's do our last word. Ah. Soth. Very good. The digraph TH is at the end of the word. You guys did an excellent job finding the digraph TH words. Now let's practice reading some words. I'm going to read a few words first and then we'll read some together and then I'll let you read some by yourself. Th 
a n thin. E n k think. Do these next ones with me. Th e n then. Cloth. Let's do one more together. You're doing an awesome job reading words. B, e, f, Beth. Okay, now it's your turn to read the words by yourself. You're going to sound them out just like we did together, and then you're going to read the word. Did you read the word broth? Excellent. One more word to read. Very good. That word was with. Great job reading words. If you have the letters that Miss Sarah mentioned earlier when she was talking to you, you can go get your letters now and I'll give you just a minute. everybody ready? You have your letters all out in front of you? Great. So let's make some words. Our first word is thin. How many sounds do we hear in the word thin? Let's count the sounds. Thin. Three sounds in the word thin. Now let's count our letters in the word thin. One, two, three, four. We have four letters in the word thin. If we change the middle vowel sound I to A, let's sound it out and read our new word. Th-a-n, then. How many sounds do we hear in the word then? Let's count them. Th, a, n, then. That's right. There are three sounds in the word then. How many letters do we have? Let's count those. One, two, three, four. There are also four letters in the word then. Did you notice when we changed the I to an A, our digraph TH changed as well. Let's put our hand on our throat and say the word then. What happened to the digraph TH? Very good, it became voiced. And how do we know that? Yes, we felt a vibration in our throat. Awesome job. Now we're gonna change our ending sound, N, to a T. Let's sound out our new word, that, that. How many sounds do we hear in the word that? Let's count. That. Yes, very good. Three sounds in the word that. Let's count our letters. One, two, three, four. There are four letters in the word that. We're going to now, with our words, move our digraph TH to the end of the word. And we're gonna start with this word. Let's sound it out together. B, A, F, bath. How many sounds do we hear in the word bath? B, A, F. Three sounds in the word bath. Let's see how many letters we have. One, two, three, four. Yes, there are four letters in the word bath. And if we remember, a digraph is two letters that come together to make one sound. 
And so that's why we have three sounds and four letters, because these two letters together make one sound. If we change our beginning B to an M, what's our new word? Let's sound it out. M -a -th math. Very good. And now we're going to change the middle A or letter A to an O. What's our new word? M -a -th moth. You guys are doing a, such a good job building letters. Would you like to build some by yourself? Great. I'm going to set the letters up and you can sound it out for me and then tell me the word. Are you ready to sound out the new word? Broth. Very good sounding out that word. Let's count the sounds in the word broth. B, er, a, th, broth. There are four sounds in the word broth. Now let's count our letters. One, two, three, four, five. There are five letters in the word broth. What does our word become if we take off the first letter of the word broth? Sound it out for me. Yes, the word is wrath. Let's count the sounds in the word wrath. R-A-F. It has three sounds. Now let's count our letters. One, two, three, four. We have four letters in the word wrath. Our last word we're going to make today is we're going to take the R off at the beginning of the word and we're going to add an S. Sound this word out. Did you sound out the word soth? Great. Let's count the sounds in the word soth. S, a, th. How many sounds do we hear? Yes, that's right. We heard three sounds. And now let's count our letters. There are four letters in the word soth. You guys were awesome at building words with digraph th in them. Would you like to now practice writing words with digraph th? Get your paper and pencil ready to write some words with digraph th. So I'm going to actually say the word, then I'm going to repeat it, I'm going to have you say the word, then we'll both write the word, and then we'll compare and see if our words look the same. Okay? So your very first word is thin, thin. Say it with me, thin. Okay, write the word thin on your board. Okay, are you ready? Thin. Does yours look like mine? Awesome. Very good job. I thin. If yours doesn't look like mine, you can change it to look like mine. Great. Are you ready to write a new word? Our word is with. With. Say the word with me. With. Great. Write the word with. Okay, everybody hold your words up. With. Does yours look like mine? 
awesome job. You guys are really good at writing words. I'm going to give you one more word and then we're going to read a story. Your word is Beth. Beth. Say the word with me. Beth. Okay, show me your word. Very good. I know everyone remembered to capitalize their letter B because Beth is a proper noun. Would you like to read a story about Beth now? Let's read a story about Beth. First, I'm going to find a few words that have digraph TH in them in Beth. If I look in my title, I can see that I have Beth and broth. Beth and broth. Let's read our story. Follow along with me as I read. Beth likes broth. Beth likes to eat broth. Beth likes to eat broth with her mom. Beth and her mom have clothes with them when they eat the broth. The broth is thin. They think it will make a mess. The cloth is to help with the mess. After Beth and her mom eat all of the broth, they mop up the mess with the cloth. Did you like the story about Beth? Read it with me one more time. You can use your finger to follow along with me as we read together. Beth likes broth. Beth likes to eat broth. Beth likes to eat broth with her mom. Beth and her mom have cloths with them when they eat the broth. The broth is thin. They think it will make a mess. The cloth is to help with the mess. After Beth and her mom eat all the broth, they mop up the mess with the cloth. You guys did a great job learning the digraph TH today. Practice your digraph TH throughout the day today, remembering some of these words and writing them. Now Miss Sarah's going to join us with some more information. Thank you, Anne Marie, and thank you, boys and girls, for participating in our lesson today. All rights and credits for today's lesson belong to the West Virginia Department of Education, and we'd like to thank them for publicly sharing these valuable materials. Bye. Bye.